President Donald Trump's long-awaited trade plan, the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement, is done. Reporter Brock Turner joins me to break down what that will mean for Hoosiers. Brock, thanks for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Joe. So let's just start kind of basically what would this international trade agreement mean for Hoosiers? Yeah, so the trade deal really affects two major groups of Hoosiers, and those would be any manufacturing as well as farmers. Um, pharmaceutical companies, though, are not terribly happy about this deal because it sort of takes away some of the protections that they've had selling their drugs um, to Mexico and Canada in terms of name brand drugs. So in Indiana, you think about manufacturing, especially cars and auto and farming. Let's just start with the auto industry. How will it affect that? Yeah, so for the auto industry, really they have a couple of of, of key points that they're focusing on. The majority of the deal revolves around where parts are manufactured and where those vehicles are assembled. Some companies have to, are going to have to shift their production back to the United States in order to hit those thresholds um, that they want to hit, uh, which certainly could help some Hoosier communities um, that, that have been ravaged by plants kind of rolling out of town. And then the other big impact, of course, who's your farmers? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a huge, important deal for farmers as well. Predominantly farmers, um, poultry farmers, as well as dairy farmers. Um, corn and soybean farmers aren't really uh, impacted by this deal. Um, they, they're more would be more impacted by a Chinese trade deal. Um, but, but folks tell me that, that a lot of the bones for this deal can sort of be applied to China um, because they were addressing complex issues like intellectual property rights um, and other types of, of issues like that. But um, the big one, I think, is for poultry farmers who get greater access to those export markets as well as dairy farmers, which Canada allowed to close some of the loopholes, which will help prop up um, American dairy farmers. All right, Brock, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Joe.